Amazon Web Services launches a new secret cloud region for U.S. intelligence agencies. AWS reinvents, set to focus on AI machine learning. Black Friday and Cyber Monday put the cloud in the spotlight. And Rackspace closes on its largest acquisition. That's what's coming up on the Roundup, Tuesday, November 21st. Hi, everyone. This is your Cloud News Roundup on LifterNews.com. I'm Shaylee Webb. And I'm Corey Bowling. And happy Thanksgiving, Corey. Happy Thanksgiving, Shaylee. <laughs> Thank you. This is a look at this week's top stories. Amazon Web Services has unveiled a new cloud computing service designed specifically for the CIA and other U.S. intelligence agencies to host secret classified data. The company says it's the first service from any cloud provider that allows all 17 U.S. intelligence agencies to host and run applications with government data classified at the secret level. Amazon already provides a cloud region for the intelligence community's top secret data. The cloud provider has strong inroads with U.S. intelligence agencies. In 2013, Amazon won a cloud contract from the CIA worth $600 million over 10 years to develop a private cloud for the government's intelligence community. Speaking of Amazon, the company is set to hold its annual cloud conference, AWS reInvent, in Las Vegas next week. Expect Amazon to spend a good amount of time focusing on artificial intelligence and machine learning. There's already reports that Amazon will roll out a service called Iron Man that's meant to simplify AI tasks involving lots of different kinds of data. So, Tony Stark will be there. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Additionally, AWS plans to make it easier for people to use a Google-created technology called TensorFlow, which is an open-source framework for deep learning to help companies make use of image recognition, speech recognition, and language translation. We'll have updates on LifterNews.com next week. It's that time of year again when retailers will have their websites flooded by crush of online shoppers hunting for Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. And that inevitably means websites are going to crash. Over the years, no major retailer has been immune. We've seen the websites for companies like Best Buy, HP, Neiman Marcus, and Target all buckle under the Black Friday and Cyber Monday traffic. Last year, Macy's website went down. And that was bad news for you, Corey. It was. I had scarves in my cart when it happened. <laughs> that downtime spells big losses for corporations. All this means that the cloud will be in the spotlight. Most major retailers host their websites with one of the major cloud providers, in large part because the cloud offers elasticity for its customers through auto-scaling. This way, when traffic spikes are detected, a cloud provider can automatically scale to handle the workload. We'll be tracking website crashes through the weekend. Rackspace has finalized the acquisition we talked about a few weeks ago of one of its biggest rivals, managed services provider Datapipe. The deal will open up Alibaba's cloud offerings to Rackspace's customer base. Uh, the acquisition is the largest in the history of Rackspace, though the company has not disclosed how much it paid for Datapipe. The acquisition will give Rackspace access to new data centers and offices in key markets around the world, including Brazil, China, and Russia. And that's it for today's Roundup. Do you have questions about how the Lifter Index could help you make better decisions? Email us at ideas at lifternews.com.